what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to talk about final destination 6 aka final destination bloodlines so final destination bloodlines we know is currently filming out in vancouver and it is supposed to arrive sometime in theaters next year in imax but we learned the cast not too long ago now we allegedly or now we have some alleged details on who could be playing who so we have cast role details i would say so shout out to you jen for sending this over to me follow jen on twitter if you haven't because he's been right about several things in the past related to final destination 6 uh so just to kick off with just a refresher we know this is diving into the story of this high schooler going to college who's just graduated i should say who's off to college named stephanie 18 years old has a premonition about dying in a tower collapse from the 60s she realizes that this is something that her grandmother survived and now death is after her killing them all in the date of birth because it's a family that should have never existed had her grandmother not have intervened all those years ago saving a bunch of people i've talked about how allegedly there is some sort of restaurant at the top of this tower and i'm also going to show some more footage that apparently is from the aftermath of said tower collapse which again shout out to you jen for sending that footage my way so let's go over the characters or the cast and who they are playing so we have caitlin santuana who is starring as stephanie now stephanie of course will end up being stephanie lewis she is smart grounded ambitious stephanie is about to leave her working class hometown and head off for university close to her younger brother charlie stephanie feels bad that charlie has been moody and angry at her lately probably because she's going to be leaving him just like their mom did when stephanie learns the truth about the nightmares that have been plaguing her she realizes that her grandmother esther was telling them the truth about death coming for the relatives in their bloodline and she decides to do everything in her power to keep her family safe tion briones who is from pretty little liars and more recently chucky stars as charlie lewis charlie is stephanie's brother gangly bright he's her younger brother normally very close to steph he's grown moody and angry at her as her departure for college draws near hating the fact that she's going to be leaving him just like their mom did when stephanie discovers the bizarre truth about death coming for their family because their grandmother esther thwarted it years ago charlie thinks the whole thing is nuts but has a huge respect for stephanie and she studies or and she as she studies the manual their grandmother gave her before she died charlie realizes that stephanie understands what's going on and eventually he comes to believe it too then you have owen joiner who is starring as bobby bobby is huge good-hearted and anxious bobby is a high school football linebacker and julia and Derek's brother stephanie and charlie's cousin sweet and vulnerable despite not being too bright bobby is the only one of the family who's immediately terrified by stephanie's account of grandma esther's story that death is going to come after their family in birth order a frightened bobby is willing to try anything to thwart death then you have richard Harmon, who stars as derrick derrick is a walking collection of piercings tattoos and and smarm defiant and a bit crude full of ego usually seen with a vape pen derrick is bobby and julia's brother stephanie and charlie's cousin a tattoo and piercing artist derrick absolutely does not believe cousin stephanie's story that their family is doomed to be chased by death and killed before their time and he's gleeful when he appears to prove her wrong by escaping what should have been a fatal situation craig perry has hyped up this tattoo parlor kill in the past obviously derrick having this character description is going to be the one in that role i will also highlight that these descriptions i've talked about them in my channel in the past all i'm doing is just simply going over which star is allegedly going to be playing the character and then give, going over their description once more there's no word yet on who's playing esther since that grandmother is supposed to be at the center of all of this but then we have julia who is going to be portrayed by anna loray julia is bougie she's a tomboy desperately trying to be stylish snarky julia is barbie or bobby and Derek's sister stephanie and charlie's cousin she doesn't like stephanie believing that stephanie feels she's superior to her cousins and loves to show stephanie how much better of a role model she is for charlie like the rest of the family julia doesn't believe stephanie's bizarre story of how their grandmother esther thwarted death 50 years ago and now death is coming after everyone in esther's bloodline in order in fact julia enjoys seeing stephanie brought down a peg when her own mother refuses to believe it so i don't think i mentioned this but then you have andrew lee andrew lee stars as mr lewis who is stephanie and charlie's dad so those are who is playing who allegedly all of this has yet to be confirmed but with jen's track record i don't see why this wouldn't be approved we know for a fact all of these people are starring in the film 
I don't know who Breck Bessinger could be playing. I'm hoping to find out soon. I'll share that with you on the channel when I have it. These characters, all of them being related, very, very, very diverse family that they have going on here. A very, very, very diverse family. So we'll see how all of this translates on screen when Final Destination 6 arrives in theaters next year in IMAX. What do you guys think about all this? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm very eager to see how Tony Todd will get involved with all of these people because I am pretty confident that Tony Todd is this little boy that allegedly was in the premonition with Esther. It was supposed to be like the final two people were Esther and a little boy. I'm certain that'll end up being Tony Todd. If it's not Tony Todd, I cannot wait to see how he ends up getting involved with these people or what would even bring them to get involved with William Bloodworth as a character. So let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.